I was to tell you that there is a device currently being used in this hospital on a weekly basis with a failure rate of up to 70%. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. My name is Anya Bryan and I will be talking on behalf of Team Stent about our product, the Pat Stent. So the problem. Obesity is a rising problem in the Western world due to an increase of fat in the diet. The gallbladder is an organ in the body used to secrete bile to break down this fat. However, the increase of fat puts an increase of pressure on this gallbladder, causing biliary strictures or obstruction of these ducts. These are relieved using biliary stents or a simple tube to hold the duct open. There are two such models on the market at the moment, the first of which is a plastic biliary stent. Now, these are quite cheap, with an average price of 69 euro per stent. However, they can have a patency or lifespan of less than three months and are inefficient for long-term use. A bacterial biofilm forms around the inside of the stent, sludge formation occurs and the stent is obstructed and needs to be removed. The second stent is a metal biliary stent. Now these are more effective than the current plastic stents with a patency or lifespan of nearly nine months. However, they are nearly 20 times the price. And as they are a metal mesh, tissue can grow within the stent, making it very difficult to remove. Which brings us to why we are here today. At the start of this module, we were tasked with coming up with the cost-effective stents with an increased patency. So we looked at materials that had an antimicrobial resistance. We chose silver. It has two and a half times the antimicrobial resistance of any material currently being used in stents at the moment. For cost-effectiveness, we used a nano-silver coat with a silicon base. Now, silicon is highly biocompatible with the body, making it easy to insert. It is also a softer material than current biliary stents, so perforation is a less likely risk. The Marcus. It is a highly competitive and saturated Marcus, with company names such as Boston Scientific and Hobbs Metal at the forefront of this. But there is huge potential for a stent with a longer patency. The current market size is 69.3 million euro a year. However, due to the increase in obesity, this is set to grow at 4.5% over the next few years and by 2025 has an estimated value of 126 million euro. The estimated TAM is 10 billion euro. There is huge potential for our stent to be used in cases where clinicians would have previously hesitated to put in a stent due to the short-term patency. Now, we estimate our uh, stent costs approximately 90 euro per unit with a uh, manufacturing cost of 20. Our route to Marcus. As our device is a medical device, regulation is extremely important. According to the FDA, our device is a class 2 device. This means we only require 510k pre-market clearance, avoiding the high cost and stringent regulations associated with class 3 or pre-market approval. Similarly, in the EU, our device is classified as a class 2B device. Um, clinical trials can be avoided in this case as um, biliary stents already exist on the Marcus. This avoids the time associated with this, as well as the high costs needed in conducting these. There are no um, patents currently at the moment for use of a nanosilver and silicon base together. We would therefore be hopeful that a patent would be granted to us. Ladies and gentlemen, PAT stent is the next generation biliary stent. It provides clinicians with a new long-term therapeutic option for the relieving of biliary strictures. It is cost-effective in the healthcare system, putting patient care first. It is a device I believe in, my teams believe in, and it has a high market potential, and I hope you see that. Thank you.